Maimuna, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. Maimuna, when people talk about legacies, they often talk about financial legacy. Right. And I'm sure that's not what you have in mind. So tell me, how does an individual leave a great legacy? Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a pl blueprint left to us by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that was the greatest legacy any man or any woman in the world can leave behind. And so we follow that path. We follow that sunnah. But we also actualize our own individual gifts that come from Allah um, as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, what advice do you have for somebody wanting to leave a legacy, wanting to, after they die, to mm -hmm. have an impact on other people? Absolutely. So the advice I would give that individual comes from the legacy and the life of my beloved father, may Allah have mercy on him, who has recently passed away. And his leg we were so overwhelmed by his beautiful legacy. Um, not only did he contribute to uh, knowledge through his teachings, um, as well as his humanitarian aid work, so um, that was what gave us comfort when his students came forward with all the beautiful stories and all the other individuals as well whose lives he has touched. And when I reflect on that, I think of something really beautiful in the Sunnah, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he received uh, the uh, Quran from Jibreel Alayhi Salam, um, at first he was dealing with anxiety. And so he went to Khadija radiallahu anhu and he was telling him what he was experiencing and she reminded him of his work and who he was and so that actually provided him with comfort and relief from that anxiety and that suffering at that moment so our legacies and the work that we do also helps us while we're still alive and also provides comfort for those that we leave behind as well and as well as a blueprint and a path to follow. And so what one can do is to actually read and study the legacies of great legends that have lived um, before us and follow their blueprint by studying biographies. That's something I've done. Mm -hmm. Maimuna, you know, sometimes people get caught up, you know, you go to work and then you come back and you, and you kind of collapse on the couch and, and watch something, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then the day goes by and the next day starts and, and you get caught up in that daily grind. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for people to to kind of move beyond that mm -hmm. and, and realize what their goals should be right. and what their purpose is. Right. Uh, that's a great question, mashallah. Um, I would advise them to create a vision for their life. That vision is inclusive of everything you need to do, your practical daily uh, job, as well as what do you want to achieve for this life and the next in terms of serving your community, serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I would suggest creating a vision that includes all the goals that you want to achieve. So a vision is beyond just the regular goal setting. It actually connects you back to the prophetic sunnah. So um, I've studied this, I've taken a vision uh, course, and uh, we've looked at the vision of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which was serving Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by serving humanity. And so, with that, he had a daily schedule. Um, I've looked at this through actually one of the groups that look at it is Productive Muslims, and he had a daily schedule. And if you look at it, there was a pattern to what he did every day, which included uh, starting off uh, by going to the mosque, right, and doing his morning prayer coming home, greeting his family, being with his family, uh, then going back, serving the ummah, then, you know what I mean, and coming back and doing so. Scheduling is very important and managing your time. So set a schedule for work as well as set a schedule for um, the things that you want to contribute, whether it is uh, volunteering on the weekends or whenever you have time. So uh, having that set schedule will allow you to uh, live Live on that vision and keep pushing. But there are principles I would recommend following in creating that vision. And one of the first principles is setting an intention. Now, that intention, even if you do not achieve the goal, 
it actually counts for you as well as a uh, reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So intention is very important. Our actions uh, do not matter unless they have the proper intention of serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second... Because when you were mentioning that, I was thinking, you know, because you could, you could think about having a legacy in a very egotistical way, right? Absolutely. You know, you want to achieve success, you want to be known, you want to be thought of long after you pass away. Mm -hmm. But when you set your intentions, then you kind of clarify things for yourself, right? Absolutely. Um, if you don't have the right intention, then that action is useless. Mm -hmm. Basically, if your intentions are serving your ego or trying to create a name for yourself and for this world, that's all you get is this world. Mm -hmm. But the intention that you want to set is something that will add value to your life, not only in this life, but in the real reality of the next life where it really counts. And that's why our intentions are very important. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, every man is this intention, right? So it's, it's very important that we set a proper intention. And that also helps us, uh, guides us on the way as well. If we don't have proper intentions, we are usually met with negativity. Negativity in thought, negativity in action, and patterns. But when you have a positive intention, you get blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your actions are blessed. Your work is blessed. And there's abundance in your work as well. Barakah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you talked about intention. What's the second thing that you were about to mention when I interrupted <laughs> no, you? No, no, it's great. Um, you know, it's great to have this wonderful dialogue. Uh, the second principle is self-knowledge. Self-knowledge is critical in everything that we do. It provides us with that confidence of knowing who we are, knowing our strength, knowing our weaknesses, so that we're able to navigate our work properly. And so with self-knowledge, we're able to address our past, to make peace with our past, um, get to know ourselves and uh, live a visionary life that is uh, present-based but futuristic as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maimuna, do you think it's important that we have a vision? Absolutely. Um, I don't think you could actually achieve what you want to achieve in life without a vision because you will be met with, um, you know, of course, hardships, disappointments, failures. What lifts you up from all of that is coming back to that greater vision. And even if we look at the Sira of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is what had him going. Even through the year of sorrow, he would go back and know that his vision and his purpose was to keep going because he still needed to do that service, right? He still needed to spread Islam. He still needed to um, be the prophet of Allah, right? So vision is very important to, so that we can continue and never give up. Mm -hmm. Someone listening to us might think, you know, I'm not this great, amazing person. I'm not this leader. Do I still need to think about uh, leaving a legacy behind and what sort of legacy would that look like mm -hmm. for just the ordinary average person? Right. Well, I don't think anyone's <laughs> ordinary or average. I believe that we're all extraordinary beings. We are a noble creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, and yes, um, of course, we have a legacy to carry. We have the greatest legacy to carry. We have, uh, you know, the Prophet, peace be upon him's legacy to carry forward. So every bit you can do is very important, even if it is contributing in a small way, it adds to you, right? And again, the intention is very important. And so for that individual, I would say uh, start setting goals, right? Um, and the vision, setting a vision allows you to live a big life, right? And think big beyond your limitations, Right? And, and being able to achieve anything you want. But start small, start setting um, proper goals, daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, keep a schedule, keep a calendar, and that will grow mm -hmm. to a greater vision at some point. One project at a time, and they'll add up at the end. There's this uh, well-known hadith um, or saying of the Prophet Muhammad that there are three things that benefit you after you die. And I just thought of that as we, as we were talking. And one is um, the prayer of your child. Another is an act of charity. And the third is knowledge. Absolutely. And when I think of those things, I think of the fact that it's not just the deed that you're doing, but what's going to benefit you is the impact that you make on the world. Absolutely. So I think this hadith is very important. It is very important. It's a great advice. Um, it's leaving a, you know, it's being sign significant. It's leaving an impact, right? Um, my father, uh, Sheikh Umar Muhammad, uh, may Allah have peace, uh, 
upon him. May Allah have mercy on him. His students just contacted me this Friday. Um, they went into work immediately to continue his work. One of my mother's worries was um, how we're going to keep up with doing the work that he was doing with the orphans especially. And so, alhamdulillah, not only is the family organizing and the organization that he founded, Araha, um, but his students are also organizing and they've actually raised over $10,000 right now just uh, towards uh, his charities. And so, and it's so beautiful to bear witness how organized they are and how they're working hard and it's all self-initiative and you know what I mean? And they have that drive in that motivation and so that is his legacy in action and so and that is what I hope and pray um, everybody leaves behind um, as well. Mamuna, thank you for sharing these stories of your father and inspiring us to also leave a great legacy. Thank you. Jazakallah for having me. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe and please donate to support our work at Quranspeaks.com.